Hello, my lovely psychology students. Welcome back to a quick research methods video. And this one, we are focusing on pilot studies. Now, this um, little video is based on a task that you have done for me, where you are given a whole collection of statements that were all mixed up, and you had to put them in the right order to explain what a pilot study is. So let's be working through these. A pilot study, it is a small scale trial run of the actual study. It will consist of a small sample group rather than the total amount of participants needed for the actual research. So small scale, we don't need the same amount. So if you had 100 people that you wanted in your actual experiment, here you could have five, six, because it's a trial run. You're testing it out. Now, pilot studies is applicable for all research methods. So it may use any type of research methods or questionnaires, interviews, laboratory experiments. A pilot study can be used in all of those. So such as lab experiments, questionnaires, and et cetera. Now, it's about checking the procedures and resources to ensure that they work and test what they're supposed to be testing. So it's making sure that everything is working properly. So for example, in an experiment, it's about testing the procedures, the resources, and that the IV can be changed effectively and that the DV can be measured. So it's about testing the procedures. Are you doing things in the right order? The resources, so perhaps the tasks that you're getting participants, they're suitable, they work. Can you clearly manipulate the IV? Is the IV appropriate? All these type of things. In observational studies, your coding system can be checked. So your behavioral checklists, are these real behaviors? You know, can they be seen? In questionnaires and interviews, it's about checking the questions. You know, is the question necessary? Is it ambiguous? Is it clear in what it's saying? Is this, is this all measuring what it's meant to be measuring? So it's to ensure that they are appropriate, not ambiguous, or can be removed. Right, because sometimes in a questionnaire, you might have a question, think, oh, I need another one. You can think, do I really need that question? Is that question actually measuring anything? So a pilot study, what does it do? It allows the researcher to identify any potential problems or issues and allows for these to be corrected and modified. Because you don't want to just plan everything and do your research and kind of thinking, hold on, that procedure didn't quite work. Um, those questions didn't actually tell me anything that I wanted to, and my behavioral checklist was all wrong, then you've wasted a lot of time and effort. Pilot studies are essential because it's about checking, making sure everything works, making sure that you are going to measure what you're setting out to measure, that your IV is manipulable, your DV can be measured. It's about making sure everything's okay. We're not interested in the findings from a pilot study. We're interested about identifying things that are perhaps completely inappropriate, incorrect, or things that just might need to be adjusted slightly. For example, the timings that you might get people to see a slide. You know, they've got 30 slides to see how much time are you giving them? Are you giving them too much, too little? All these things need to be tested out. Now, just four little scenarios that I'm going to quickly work through, just for you to kind of thinking, if I was doing this research, what are some of the things that I should be looking at? So the study aimed to investigate whether or not uh, playing calming music in a dental waiting room could be reduced the level of anxiety observed in patients. Ooh, if you're doing a pilot study, key things here. The choice of music. Is it actually calming or not? Um, how loud the music is going to be played. Is the music going to be played continually? The same piece of music? Um, and all these type of things. How are you going to measure anxiety? So your behavioral checklist, do you have a collection of actual behaviors that you can look for to see whether um, we can measure um, anxiety. So there's lots that we can be checking. The study aimed to investigate smoking habits in teenagers by issuing a questionnaire. Is there too much jargon in the questions? Too much uh, specific terms that they might not understand that you as the researcher will, but maybe is the questions age appropriate? 
Are you pacing them at the right thing? Are they actually measuring attitudes? Your question measuring. Are you all your questions appropriate? So it's really important that we can identify these things. Our third scenario, the study aimed to investigate whether or not the presence of loud music in the background impacted on the recall of a photo based images of people. Lots of things we need to test in here. Right, loud music. How loud is loud? The type of music. Right, loud noise in the background. Recall the types of photo, the, the topics of the photos. How many photos? How are the photos displayed? Um, the room, so if you're doing another condition where there's no loud music, um, are we looking at the idea of what is the procedure, but looking at all the extraneous variables that we need to control, are they in the same type of environment or completely different rooms? You know, that can affect. So it's about how you're going to control all the extraneous variables as well, and perhaps identifying additional extraneous variables. And four, the study aimed to investigate the difference between the level of aggression in boys and girls in the school playground. Okay, straight away, um, we're looking at the idea of aggression. We can't just look for aggression. Do we have an appropriate um, behavioral checklist? Do all the behaviors actually measure aggression? For example, stomping your feet. Well, stomping your feet, the girls could be playing hopscotch. Are we looking at the aggression between boys? Boys on boys? Uh, are girls and girls or girls between boys? So it's about that clarification. Uh, looking at the idea of perhaps how you're going to investigate, would it be better to an overt or covert type of observation? So these are all things that need to be checked out. So a pilot study is a small scale trial run of the actual study. Again, we're not interested in the findings. We're interested to see whether everything is appropriate, if it works properly, and allows us to make any changes before we actually do the real experiment. Yes, it can be time consuming this process, but doing research is a very expensive and time consuming thing. We don't want to be wasting our time. So quick recap on a pilot study really important to know what it's all about. Till next time.